lipsticks and I wasn't really planning on filming this video today but I decided because today is the first real fall day in the city I feel like a lot of people are wearing their jackets and boots and the air is just crisper and a little cooler I thought you know what let's just put this video together and film it for all of you so I have seven lipsticks and lip glosses that I'm going to be sharing with you. So before I start talking about the lip products themselves, I wanted to mention what I use to exfoliate my lips. And I use the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. I know you can make these yourselves and it's kind of crazy to be spending money on a lip exfoliator, but for me it's just simpler. I, yeah, I just would prefer to do it this way. Um, I think exfoliating your lips and moisturizing your lips before you put on any lip products is so important because you don't want dry, flaky lips when you are wearing lipstick. It's just not, it's not cute. Let's be serious. Okay, so the first color I'm going to mention is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I don't know if you can tell just because it's actually a lip gloss and it's from NYX. It's their butter lip gloss, or butter gloss in the color tiramisu. Um, for me, this brownie pink color, it's kind of like that brown pink, is the perfect everyday, if you don't know what you what lip color I want to wear, this is what I would typically choose just because it's so easy to apply on the go and then get out the door. Um, and then I just stick it with me in my purse and I don't really have to worry about using a mirror to apply it, but it's just a perfect everyday lip color. Obviously the lasting power is not that great because it is a lip gloss so it will wear a lot easier. I don't wear it over anything. I typically wear it by itself, but you could definitely pair this with lipsticks. Um, but I just prefer to wear this one by itself because I think it looks great that way. So sticking with the neutrals, um, my next favorite, again, what I'm wearing on my lips is from Makeup Forever and it is in the color Rouge Artist Natural N9 and it is this coppery brown pink, like a rosy color. Um, I got this in the little Sephora gift pack that you get for your birthday and I know a lot of people, or at least I've heard a lot of people say that they don't really like this color because it's like too of a brownish pink, but I really love it. I think it looks really nice. Um, so, you know, I think it kind of depends on your coloring a little bit, but I do really love this color and I know this is just a little sample, but I'm probably going to buy this when this runs out. And I always wear it with the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the color Rose. These to me are some of, if not, the best lip liner that you can get at the drugstore, mainly because they're retractable and I hate sharpening any. So moving on to the darker and redder shades that I love for the fall, the first one I'm going to talk about is another gloss type of product and it is the Revlon Colorverse Lip Butter in the shade Red Velvet. This is probably my all-time favorite oh my gosh I can't look at this my all-time favorite lip butter shade from Revlon it's just this it looks really dark in the tube um, but obviously because it's more of a glossy finish it applies very sheer so you can build it up to a darker color I also really like wearing this kind of when I just want to throw something on just like the NYX one but I just want to throw something on and get out the door really quickly. So the next shade that I have on my lips is another glossy finish and it is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine in the number 17. This is one of those red berry shades that is so popular during this time of year and I really love it. It's so comfortable to wear on the lips although because it is another gloss finish I do pair it with a lip liner to help it last just a little bit longer. longer. And the liner I use is the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in the shade Deep Red, which again is just another red berry shade, and I think the two of these work really well together. One more product I like to use with this is the Alme Lip Gloss, I'm not really sure what these are called, it's just the Alme Lip Gloss in Just Plum, which as the name suggests, it's just a very nice plummy red color. So this next shade that I love is from Clinique and it, I'm not sure exactly which lipstick line is from because they do have several, but this is in the shade Merlot. Now obviously given the name it's on that wine red spectrum, but I kind of think this leans a little bit more on the brown side of things. So even though it is a red there's just a hint of brown in it. And I like to also pair this with the deep 
red shade. I think these work very well together and it just helps bring out the true color of this lipstick. Now we have ventured into the very dark vampy wine lip colors and the first one I want to talk about is from Maybelline and it's from their new matte lip collection. I posted a picture of this on Instagram and I've actually worn this to work now a few times just because I love it so much and yeah. It is the Maybelline Matte Lip Color in the shade Divine Wine. Oh my gosh, if you really want a matte lipstick that has that is really easy to apply, super creamy, but still lasts a really long time, this is for you. This is just, oh my, I, I can't even tell you how much I love this lip color. It does have, it has, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell my face, I mean, it kind of has this weird Play-Doh smell, which I don't love. The other lip colors don't really have much of a scent to them, or at least they're more of a pleasant scent. Um, this one just has this weird Play-Doh smell, but I can just let it go because I love this lip color and how smoothly it applies so much. I highly recommend if you are looking for a deep, dark shade for the fall to try this one out. But we have come to the very last lipstick color and this is from Wet n Wild so another one from the drugstore and it is in the shade Cherry Bomb. It comes in this packaging like this which you kind of have to be a bit careful of because if you're not you can get the lip color on the inside but I tend to just clean it out and again this is another dark deep berry shade. Um, I think I've heard that this is a dupe for some MAC colors, but I don't own any MAC lipsticks. I think I've just read that it is a dupe for those colors, but this is another very much vampy shade, so if you're looking for a dark lipstick to wear in the fall, this is another one that would be great, just like the Maybelline Divine Wine. And this one is also a matte. It doesn't apply as smoothly as the Maybelline one does. This one can get a little blotchy if you're not careful, but it is still a really, really nice shade. And I realized I didn't mention this with the last lipstick, but I applied both the Maybelline Divine Wine and the Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb with this Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in the shade Chili. So we have come to the end of this video finally. This has just taken quite a long time and we've run into some lighting issues, but it's totally fine. My lips are also super dry right now because I've been obviously swatching all these lip colors for you so that you can see what they look like. Mm, isn't that great? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I would love to know what some of your favorite fall lip colors are. And if you're wanting to know what some of my favorite fall nail polish is, I'm wearing one of the colors right now, you can go ahead and check out that post on my blog. I will link it down below as well as all the colors that I mentioned and yeah. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this Sunday, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!